Hello and welcome to this presentation of some of the new features in Mudbox 2012. My name is uh, Jonas Turnquist and I'm a, a character artist and modeler and, uh, working for uh, companies such as Framestore, uh, Lionhead, Electronic Arts and I'm currently working at uh, Better Digital. So this is the model that we're going to be using for this presentation. It's still very much work in progress. Um, there are some some textures painted for it also. Even more work in progress, but it gives you an idea of what it's, what it's going to be looking like when it's finished. The model is about 2.5 million polygons at the moment, which I think is enough enough detail for this this guy. We have four uh, UV tiles for the entire character. So let's have a look at how I created these textures. So let's start with having a look at one of my favorite new features in Modbox 2012. When it comes to, to um, projecting stencils on top of your model. So as you can see here, the, the reference texture that I have doesn't, doesn't really match up very well with, with my model. It's lined up as, as, good as, as good as possible, but you can see it's still way too thin. What you can do then is you can go in, in under Edit, Edit Stencil. It makes it possible for you to actually go in and, and just pull things around and move the stencil with the, with the modeling tools in, in, in Mudbox. And you just line it up with your, with your model. And this is extremely useful, especially when you have characters that are not based on reality, so you don't have perfect texture reference you can match them up to. You can see here in some areas it gets a bit you know, jagged. Edges. What you can do is you can actually go in and add new subdivision level and it will subdivide this, this grid that the texture is projected on. If you go display wireframe you can see the you know, how you have distorted the texture. Turn that off. So you can subdivide it as many times as you want to get enough detail. I think this should be probably enough for us. Just do a very quick job here of just matching it up. We're mostly interested in the in the arm here, so care about these bits. When you're done, Mudbox will actually create a copy of your stencil. You can just go and preact as normal. I like to do that on a, a new layer here, so we're just gonna add a new layer. Now you just preact as normal. Another nice new feature here is under each of these paintbrushes, there's in, in the fall off section. You can say fall off based on facing angle. I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna do this again with the Facing angle value on. Turn this off. And you can turn off the underlying layer. So you can see that as the face of the model turns away from the camera, you get a, a hard cutoff there at 60 degrees. Obviously you can change you can change that fall off value to anything. 60 so the fourth one is a pretty good one. So now as you can see we have a lot a lot more texture detail here. Than we had before. And when you prick something like this, you obviously end up with um, a lot of artifacts and seams in some areas. Uh, one way to get rid of them is just use the, the race tool, obviously. But a new feature in, in Mother of 2012 is the this create layer mask. So just with the layer selected, we just click this one and you create a mask layer. And then you just pick the normal paintbrush. I will have a white color selected, but if I hold down control, it will invert the value. So I'll be painting with a black color. So now I can just go and you know, get rid of some of these seams and artifacts that are present in this projection. Make this this new layer blend blend in better with the with the layer below. The good thing with this is that you can obviously just paint white again and you can get that that information back once you once it's been removed. It's a non-destructive way of editing your, your texture maps, which is very useful. Another tool that's been improved greatly with the this new release of Modbox is the is the clone tool. It's become one of my favorite new tools. It's a lot faster than in, in the in the previous versions of Modbox. It's, it's great. It's a great tool for just clean, cleaning up your texture and add, adding detail in some areas, and getting rid of you know, unwanted blemishes and stuff like that. Another very 
good thing with, with this clone tool in Mobbox is that you can tint the, the color that you're cloning. So if for example I wanna try and copy some diva from the stomach here to the to this to the side of his body, we can see the texture is a bit darker. So I'm just gonna pick a slightly uh, brown yellowish color here. Now I'm gonna paint from this from this clone from this brighter area to this slightly darker area. As you can see it you know you can get it to match up a little better. Get a bit a little bit more red maybe. You can see you can you can you're still projecting all this, all these details from the brighter area. You're tinting it with the color of your choosing to get to get it to sort of fit, fit better in that area you're painting. Another tool that's been greatly improved is the, is the blur tool. Also a lot faster. It can be quite quite useful in some areas to just blur your textures. A bit too sharp or just to blend blend two areas two areas together. Another nice feature is uh, the new layer blending modes. So if I create a new layer, I'm just going to go and project texture on here. Take this one here, for example. So you can just go and project something on top of here. Now, if you go in here and look closely, and we can see we can change the different the different uh, layer blending modes. So if you take line and burn, for example, and get one look, probably makes it look. A little bit more like a like a tattoo. Another nice thing is under the layer you can go to adjust color, and here you can change things such as you know the, the brightness. You can change the saturation, so you can very very quickly just change the the, the overall look of the layer. Hue also, so you can change different different hue, and you also have the curves. You can control in, individual. Uh, you know, channels also. It's very useful. That looks looks like a tattoo. The blur tool is also very useful. You can very quickly go and sort of blend the edges more into the skin if you like. Get more of a tattoo look. My box now also supports PTEX, which means for these pants here, for example. You can see here, the UVs I have is yeah, not very good. So I'm going to be able to, to just to, to paint on these. But what I can do is I can go into Mesh, PTEX Setup, and I can just say tell them to uh, you know, set up PTEX for these, for these pads. And what that means now is I can just get an stencil here, for example, line it up a little bit, and see if we want to paint in some some holes here in, in, the, in these pads. Let's do that. I can just tell the new texture that we're going to use the PTEX this and we just choose opacity channel and I can just go in and paint opacity is also a, a new a new feature We're also using you know this model that doesn't have even have UV set up on it I hope you found this presentation interesting and I hope you give Mudbox 2012 a try it's a, it's a great piece of software for, for creating textures for your models and I can really recommend it